There are a handful of APIs around data loading in Remix, and I want to cover them in these series of videos. So I've got a little movie app here. I'm deploying it to Cloudflare workers. Uh, it's using a D1 database that's got like 30 or 40,000 movies in it. So that's the uh, data behind this thing. And let's just get started on this homepage here. I've got a loader. If you're unfamiliar with loaders, loaders run on the server and um, provide the data to the component at a route. So this is my home route at just slash. So I'm saying use loader data, that's gonna give me whatever this query returns. And you can notice here that we're saying order by random limit 12. So we're gonna get 12 random movies and then we're rendering them. So let me just hit refresh a few times and you can see how that's all working. Uh, let's, let's throw this up onto, um, into production. Um, well, I'm on a different branch, so it'll be a preview. Uh, but let's go look at it on a preview URL here. Cool, pretty quick on a little preview URL. So I'm going to, let's go to the network and empty cache and hard reload. And, oh, I got a big old console in my way. Not bad, look at that. So 100 milliseconds waiting for the server. So two, 200 total. Um, I think that's because we're on a preview URL. Uh, oh, now we're, now we're speeding up. Anyway, that's, that's not the point of this video. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, 86 milliseconds, that's pretty good. Maybe somewhere else in the world, it's not that fast. So what I wanna do is first talk about defer because maybe it's not this fast for everybody. Maybe if I make a request to this thing, oh, there's an idea, let's do that. Let's go to uh, web page test and let's go visit this thing and let's say, all right, let's go to this spot and let's use, uh, Desktop from Frankfurt, or what's this one? Cable in Toronto, ooh, mobile. Mobile 3G in Mumbai, India. Uh, that's interesting, let's just, do, let's just do that one. So I'm gonna hit start test here. Testing, oh, we should look at the ads. Since that's what pays for this website. Actually, I think you can pay for an account too. I think I have an account. I don't know. All right, so uh, what's it telling us? Not bad, pretty quick. So we're getting our first byte in 0.8 seconds. Starts render at one second, first contentful. So seconds about a second, that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, but I wonder if we can speed this up a bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is use defer. So defer, so right now the way that Remix works is it's going to wait for our loader to run and finish before the page can render. That's that, that part on the network uh, right here where it's sitting here waiting, 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 waiting before that first byte comes. On the server, uh, Remix is waiting till all the data loads and then it'll start sending. So if we don't wanna block that first bit, and you know what? Sorry, I got the hiccups. Um, I always have the hiccups in these videos, actually. Uh, here, let's, let's look at it again in the network tab. Whoop. So right here, waiting for a response, this green bar, 100 milliseconds. That green bar is us waiting. 90 milliseconds, us waiting for the server. That's the loader going to the database. Um, and some network stuff. So what we want to do is try to start sending stuff sooner. Let's try to send stuff earlier. Instead of waiting for this data, let's defer it and then render something. So down here, I've got myself a little loading uh, UI. It's actually really beautiful. It's just a whole bunch of random dashes. So it kind of like looks like, anyway, you'll see it. It's so nice. Um, and I'm gonna tack a dot then on here. Um, so that we can slow this down. So make this async. I'm, I'm gonna make sure that it's really slow on the server. I can't just throttle my network because that's different than what's going on here. This is, the server is slow, not my network. So I'm just gonna away at a new promise. Copilot usually knows exactly what I want there. Yep. Uh, all right. So now this should take an extra second locally. So see that spinning? I hit refresh. This is spinning for an extra second. All right, so here we go. Let's bring in, uh, we're gonna bring in a handful of things. We're gonna bring in a wait from here, and we're going to bring in suspense from React, and then we're going to bring in defer from 
Remix run Cloudflare. So eventually, oh no, is this supposed to be something else? Cloudflare pages, I guess. Um, I swear it's just Cloudflare. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try just Cloudflare. It might not work. Uh, and I'm going to, okay, so now we've got this defer thing. And we can say, all right, what I want to do is defer this data. That's not enough. I got to come up here and turn this into a promise. Right now, this is being awaited. So we're actually going to get values back, but I'm going to get rid of the await here. And now it's a promise. If I have any awaits up here, anywhere at all, that's going to be blocking the loader. So the goal here is to get rid of awaits and instead defer them down here. And now this query is not going to be a set of data for me to render in my component. It's going to be a promise that I need to await here. Um, when we have RSC, uh, some of this boilerplate goes away, but um, and we do this all in the loader, but uh, we don't have that yet, um, but you can still take advantage of, you've been able to use Suspense and React Streaming uh, for about a year now in Remix, which I think is super cool. So I'm going to say, uh, around here, I'll say Suspense, and my fallback is my loading, and then I'm going to say await, Resolve what promise do I want to resolve? I want to resolve that. And then this is going to give me the query once it's resolved. Good old render props, our old friend. I'm going to move this stuff up into there. So a bit of boilerplate. Not bad, though. Uh, RSC gets rid of this uh, for the most part. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to save this. Let's go over here and refresh. Hey, hey. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I really love the random dashes. It just, it gives, it's just such an old school way to, I love it. Anyway, really cool. So now um, let's, let's deploy this actually. And what, look at this one in production and see how it looks. Oh, I still have the delay in there, don't I? Let, sorry, let's go get rid of the delay. Um, yeah, right there. So got rid of the delay. Let's deploy it again. All right, take a peek. Oh yeah, that's what you think. Aha, there it is. Okay, now check this out. If I come to the network tab and I reload this, hey, you see that? You remember what the other one looked like? Here's here's our old one. Sorry, I just switched tabs. Here's our old one big old green bar the whole time and we're waiting for the server for all 90 milliseconds and then the content download is only one millisecond right <laughs> super fast um what's annoying about this is look at this waterfall on the old version where none of our assets can start being loaded in the browser until our loader finishes on the server so all the server work is completely blocking any client work that we want to do and we can't get started on this stuff so our final load is way over here I mean, 300 milliseconds is still solid, but um, it's way over there. Look at this graph. Look how, if I flip back and forth between these, just look how different they are. Look at how all of those assets shift to the left. So why can they all shift to the left? Uh, it's right here. So now we're only waiting for 29 milliseconds. So the server, uh, remix on the server is, start up my dev server again. Remix on the server is no longer waiting for this loader. It calls the loader, but we're not, we don't have an await here, so it doesn't block the server from starting to stream down a response. And so by removing that, uh, Cloudflare is able to send us a, a first byte in 29 milliseconds, and Remix is able to render that very first screen along with the network in 20, actually right here, shell render. I have a have a server timing thing to see how fast the shell renders. Here, let me show you. Uh, entry server. Added a little uh, response header, server timing, shell render. So up here, this is not even relevant. I didn't think I was going to talk about this. So I'm going to start, and then we await re uh, React's render to readable stream. And then uh, we run the Remix server. And then down here, we've awaited that initial render to get that first shell and figure out how much time it took. So a lot of times people are like, oh, rendering is expensive. 
And I'm not sure what they mean by that. Um, I think they're meaning data loading as well in that because the, I mean, I know that this is nothing. I know, I know it's nothing. There's not a whole lot here, but uh, the server render time literally isn't even measured in a single millisecond. So anyway, totally irrelevant. Uh, the point is <laughs> that um, the server no longer has to wait for this query and it can immediately send just the shell. Uh, this thing right here with the with the dashes in there. I don't even get the dashes anymore. It's too fast. I'm just getting little flashes. Yeah. But anyway, it can send just that little bit with uh, the placeholder in there. And now that the reason that all these assets can start downloading in parallel is because up here we get the head of this document and we get all these preloads from Remix and we get these script tags as well down here. This module down there and this does some importing of some things. Uh, any, anything that this HTML says, hey, this document needs, used to be blocked, but is no longer blocked because we send a shell first. So that's what's really cool about deferring is that it allows you to change from this network graph, a waterfall, document, data, first, and then we can start downloading JavaScript to this shape where we can just send enough of the document that we need and then that can start the browser to start downloading its assets in parallel while the server is still loading uh, the data on the database or on yeah from the database really cool just a little bit of defer right there uh, and like i said when remix has rsc support you basically can just kind of get rid of this await part and then uh, react handles like oh there's a suspense thing i'm gonna start streaming now uh, where we right now have this little bit of defer boilerplate but really cool. Great way to speed up everything. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, let's punch this one in and let's see what web page test thinks about it. Whoop. Yep, Frankfurt again, here we go. One moment later. I'm not even going to put in the meme. I'm just going to say the meme. Fifth, oh, the ads. I'm sorry, web page test. <sighs> anyway. Uh, okay, let's check this one out. Oh, time to first bite, point three. Really cool. Um, and we have, so we have something to look at at point four and a total, total document at point seven. Uh, so, kind of cool. Uh, we sped it up by what, 30%, I think, by doing that? Um, I don't know, let me go to my test history. Let's see how much we sped it up. Let's compare them. Boink. Yeah. See this? So here is showing the film strips of both of them. This one comes up. This one already can send something and now the browser can start downloading assets. That's the really big deal here. And then boom, we're finished in 0.7. This one's not finished until one. So 30% speed up of a silly tiny little page, but uh, it's, it's significant when you start looking at more uh, production looking <laughs> sites. Uh, just that ability to, to shift to uh, shift when work is done. That's, this UI is making it really hard to see. Why is that still? Why do they hide that from me the whole time? I want to drag this around. Can I close that? No. Whatever. Yeah, you can kind of see these overlaid on each other. Where this one finishes here, this one finishes here. And this one can start loading its assets way back there. This one can't load them until over here. Um, but yeah, it's all just it's all just a little bit faster. Cool, that's defer.